Now, I discovered my love for exploring wide open roads and lands when I was just a young child, out with my grandfather in his old four wheel drive pickup or his old Jeep driving any random roads that we could find. Or maybe it was all that time that my mom and my dad spent with us kids out in the hills and the mountains exploring and discovering the wide open lands of New Mexico. And as I continue my journey through van life, I've come to realize that those roots that were instilled within me as a child, well, they're here to stay for good. Now that has become my foundation and my mission here on the Living the Van Life YouTube channel to continue to explore, discover, and push the limits of adventure. All by bringing you guys along for the journey. Building the Sprinter van into a solid, reliable, and capable machine is exactly what is going to get us out there. So that's why I'm here, trekking through the wet and rainy regions of western Washington, up through the snowy and rugged Cascade mountain range, and out through the vast farmlands of eastern Washington, and into the small town of Post Falls, Idaho. Now it's here in Post Falls, Idaho, where we find the small business of Van Compass. I mean, don't get me wrong when I say small business, Mark Hesser and Rob Peterson have built Van Compass from the ground up, and they've literally changed the entire game when it comes to making a Sprinter van truly off-road capable. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Van Compass, and let's turn this Sprinter van into one hell of an off-road machine. Drop the subframe to put the two inch spacers in. So this is gonna move everything two inches away from the chassis. So the cool thing about the striker lift kit too is that because it's an actual subframe drop, at full compression when the tire comes all the way up, 
you're now two inches further away from the fender. What that means is you can actually put a real tire on this thing. You can get up to a 35 inch tire with just a little bit of trimming back here on the pinch seam. So at full bump, you're not just gonna be smashing the fenders. So it, proportionally, it'll look really good. It has the same suspension geometry, so it handles just as well. And then we're gonna be pairing it with the Falcon shocks here soon, so it's gonna be the whole package. The great thing about what the guys at Van Compass have done with this lift kit is the fact that they have done a ton of engineering, a ton of design and manufacturing to keep everything within factory spec of how Mercedes designed and built this van from the start. So at this stage in the game, the lift kit is all complete and on the van. And from here, we go into installing the shocks, shock brackets, all that good stuff. We have one of our 3041 Sprinter four-wheel drive rear shocks sitting here torn apart. One of the unique features is the SP2 circuit. You can buy the suspension, you can buy a shock package and improve the ride quality right when you get the van. And then as you're adding accessories and components and whatnot, you can remove this from the lower shock mount on the van and then you can rotate the shock shaft around 360 degrees. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna close off the SP2 circuit. With the features of the Falcon shocks, it allows us to really dial it in specifically. We're gonna get you close with the internal tuning, and then you can really personalize it to yourself by setting the SP2 correctly, and then dialing it in on the fast adjust knob. Start it up. One of the things that's important when it comes to getting off-road out into the backcountry and rugged terrain is making sure that your undercarriage is protected. And so while we're at it on the suspension, these folks here at Van Compass are going to install a couple of their skid plates. One being the differential skid plate in the back. So Mark was just pointing out to me that this cover on the rear differential is kind of the weak point of this. It's just stamped metal. And so if you end up dragging your rear axle across anything, this cover is susceptible to peeling away and causing a leak under here. Important install going on here on the Sprinter. And that's gonna help protect that rear differential anytime it comes in contact with rocks, anything that's rugged, two track, rock crawling, anything like that. So while we're on the subject of talking about protecting the underside, Anytime you're off road, there's a lot of important and susceptible parts underneath the van that can really become an issue if you bottom out hard. I've already found out the hard way and bent up a few things already. That's another great product that these guys have developed specifically for these sprinter vans. We're gonna install an engine skid plate and that consists of this quarter inch piece of aluminum that is gonna go underneath the subframe of the van that's going to protect a lot of the important parts for the four-wheel drive and the differential, the cross members, and all that stuff. So this part here is actually made out of quarter-inch 6061 aluminum. More importantly, towards the front of the van is what they are calling the bash plate. This bash guard right here is made out of 3 16 steel that is then powder coated. This is going to protect Stuff like the oil pan, my auxiliary alternator, 
The cool thing about this is the fact that you're still able to do your oil changes without having to remove any of the skid plates. That's gonna go in the van and that's gonna give me a lot of peace of mind when I'm out on rugged terrain. So while the van's been up on the lift getting the suspension done, we actually took the stock wheels and tires off so that the tire shop could take the tire pressure monitors out of the stock wheels, transfer them over to the new wheels and tires, and get those new BFGs mounted on these Black Rhino Arsenal wheels. Now the guys are working on trimming some of the body panels here on the Sprinter van, because in order to fit these 31570R17 BFG KO2s, which is basically a 35 inch tire. We're gonna have to do a little bit of a slight trim to it, but these guys have done this before. They're the experts on it, so they are jumping in, getting things trimmed up. While a lot of people think it might be crazy to be digging into your fenders, let's not forget, I just cut out huge holes for the windows and the flares, so cutting a half inch off the wheel well is not that big a deal. That's cool, to be able to hack that fender up, make it fit for the 35s, but then return it looking stock. It's important when it comes to cutting into a brand new Sprinter van. Well, after eight hours of hard work and hustle, Mark and Rob working together like a well-oiled machine had this thing whipped into shape and it was time to set her on the ground and get the full effect of this transformation. Now, I had spent months searching, researching, planning, and conceptualizing what I wanted this van to look like and what I wanted it to be. I had an idea in my head of what I wanted it to be, but I gotta say, I wasn't prepared for how this was going to look in person. And to be honest with you, pictures don't do it justice of just how seriously badass this thing looks in person. Now the Van Compass lift and suspension gives this machine a stance that simply looks unstoppable. And thanks to their two inch striker lift kit and the extra added height with a 35 inch BF Goodrich KO2 tire, the van has an extra four inches of ground clearance over a stock four x four Sprinter and a whopping six inches of extra ground clearance over a stock two wheel drive. The Black Rhino Arsenal wheels together with the stone gray color of the van give it that look of military built ruggedness. Seriously though, we're not here to have a pavement princess that just looks cool. Let's get this thing out into some backcountry. Let's put it through its paces and see firsthand how it performs in real life overlanding scenarios.
everything was coming together just as I had always wanted in building this thing into a solid and capable overlanding full-time livable van. Overall, this thing is an absolute beast. With the BF Goodrich KO2 all-terrain tires, we've got a tire that will handle anything rugged thrown at it, but it also rides beautifully on the highway. The Falcon shocks have been absolutely game-changing when it comes to how the Sprinter handles on the highway. Hitting the curvy mountain pavement and need to make some time? No worries. Throw the fast adjust shocks into setting three and have confidence that this big ass van is going to handle the turns you throw it into with a sports car type attitude. Hitting the rough and rugged? Throw the Falcons into setting one, air the BFGs down to around 20 psi and it will chew up any rough and rugged dirt road like there is no tomorrow. In setting two, dial in your ride and your comfort for your day-to-day -day errands around town. Nonetheless, this is truly the beginning of the storm for the next chapter of living the van life. Now, it's nothing but adventures waiting to be found on the open road ahead, because it's going to be hard to find any terrain that will stop us now. If you guys are new to the channel, I'd like to take this opportunity to invite you to subscribe by hitting the subscribe button. And if you do hit that subscribe button, make sure and hit the little bell next to the subscribe button because that is going to notify you anytime adventures are uploaded here to the channel. Most importantly, make sure and leave your comments in the comment section down below. Hit the like button and share this with anybody that you think might find value in this video. All right guys. We will see you on the next Living the Van Life adventure. Peace out. Keep on trucking.